Hey guys, how are you? It's Lindy and welcome to a new video! In today's video I am going to talk about my hair because as you can see I changed my hair once again. Actually I already changed my hair in like the last video I uploaded but uh, I kind of forgot to mention that I changed my hair so a lot of you were like Lindy, what the hell happened to your hair? Please talk about this, all right? We need more information. <laughs> so here I am today giving you guys some information on how I changed my hair and why I changed it and everything like that. Because uh, I used to have split hair dye. So I had this part black, I'm pretty sure, and this part was silver. But as you can see right now, my hair is completely silver. So the black is like out of my hair. So in today's video, I'm just going to talk about how I did that. So if you're interested in that, then please keep on watching. So like I just said, I used to have split hair dye. I had one part black, black, and one part silver, silver. And I'm doing this because it wasn't really black and silver. And that's also the reason why I decided to get it all out of my hair because it actually looks more of a um, dark purple and bluish kind of side. So that was not what I was going for. <laughs> if you guys follow me for a longer time, you know that I used to have yellow hair before I got my split hair dye. And I didn't like my yellow hair anymore because it was just too bright and I was really looking for something more neutral. But I still wanted it to be like cool and exciting and like authentic and everything you know so i just decided i'm going to do it black and white because that still is kind of a special hair color but like it is very neutral because just black and white you know it's not like crazy colors it's not like having yellow hair like who in the world would ever do that <laughs> so i dyed my hair black and white but eventually um the colors turned out to be more purple and blue. So basically instead of having a very neutral hair color, I had um, a lot of color going on in my hair. And that is not what I wanted. That was the exact opposite of why I wanted to have split hair. <laughs> so I decided to just get it out of my hair because it just it wasn't what I wanted it to be. Like never in I've had it for like two months. And in those two months, there wasn't like one time where I was like, I really like my hair color. <laughs> no, I actually didn't like it from the beginning. So that kind of sucks because black isn't very easy to get out of your hair. I don't know if you ever heard of that before, but black is a pretty difficult color to get out of your hair. But as you can see, I kind of managed to do it because it is pretty damn silver right now. So now that we know why I decided to change my hair up once again, I can just talk about how I managed to get the black out of my hair. It was really hard to do though, so like it isn't going to be a very easy process. It was really difficult to do. Okay, so yeah, um, let's just get started on like the first thing that is very vital information <laughs> to this process. And that is that the black hair dye um, actually wasn't black hair dye. Um, I already knew from the beginning that I was probably going to get bored of my hair in a few months. I didn't realize it was only going to take two months. I thought it was going to take like six months or so. But anyways, I already knew that I wanted to go back to silver entirely eventually. So I didn't get a permanent black hair dye because that would just have been the end of me. <laughs> I got a semi-permanent black hair dye. And the one that I got is from Lunar Tights Hair and I absolutely love that hair brand. Like if you follow me, you know that I've been using this for such a long time and their hair dyes are like amazing. So I got the Eclipse hair dye from them and it's basically, Eclipse is, if you just put it in your hair, it is going to be black. But eventually if you're going to wash it, it's going to get more of a purple color because it's not a straight up black color, it's actually a very, very, very dark purple color that ends up looking black but if you wash it then it's going to fade to a more um, purple color so this already made the process of me getting the black out of my hair a lot easier because if i would have chosen for a permanent hair dye then i probably wouldn't be able to get the color out of my hair without like absolutely frying my hair <laughs> so the first thing i actually did to get the color out of my hair was I washed it a lot, like a lot, a lot. Normally I only wash my hair like once a week 
and now I wash it every single day and sometimes I even wash it two times a day and I didn't use like a regular shampoo to wash my hair I actually used an anti-dandruff shampoo because those shampoos um, take out your hair color a lot faster than those normal shampoos I'm pretty sure that's because there are just like a lot of chemicals in those shampoos and uh, because there are so many chemicals in there it is a lot harsher on your hair so also your hair is it isn't it is it isn't very healthy for your hair let me say it that way so every time i washed it with the shampoo i made sure to put like a hair mask in my hair just to kind of give it some life back because i didn't want my hair to be like extremely damaged so basically i did that for a week i would say and in that week i think i washed it like eight times and that actually made the color fade out so much honestly uh, when I started it, my hair was like pretty black. It still had like purple tint to it, like I said before, but it was it was black. And after I shampooed it so many times, it turned into a more like eggplant color, but a light eggplant color. <laughs> and actually, I'm sure that if I would have washed it like a lot more times than I did, then it would probably end up being a lot lighter than it was. But I ran out of patience. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. I just really wanted to get over with because I didn't like it. I want to change my hair. I want to get silver hair back. So what I then did, step number two, was I got a hair color remover. And I've actually used this hair color remover before and it is called Color Before. And I got like the strongest one that they have because I'm pretty sure they have like two different ones. Like one is soft and the other one is like extreme or something and I put that in my hair and I only put it in the black side of my hair and you need to just put it in your hair and then leave it in there for about an hour and it's, it smells incredibly gross it is so disgusting and the smell honestly stayed in my hair for a week which was not great but it did get a lot of the color out of my hair because when I was done with the color remover some parts of my hair actually were silver but I also had parts that were dark purple and I had parts that were pinky color and I had parts that were lilac and I had parts like oof. there were so many different colors in my hair um, but it was so much lighter than it was before and then the day after I used the color remover I was just like I was done I wanted it to be over with so I called my hairdresser and I asked her if I could come in so she could fix my hair and that is what happened. So basically to get an even color of silver, uh, my hair had to be like one even color. So she bleached my roots and she bleached my silver side because my silver side, as I said before, was turning a little bit blue. So she bleached this part and she didn't use like a normal bleach, she used a bleach bath. So basically that's like bleach mixed with water and with shampoo, just to dilute it a little bit and make it a little bit less damaging to the hair but it is still pretty damaging to the hair so basically she put that all over my hair like on the silver side and on the black side as well and she left that in there for about 40 minutes i think and she rinsed it all out and then uh, my hair was still on this side it was still pretty well it wasn't purple but it turned out like really pink and it kind of had like a salmon color and that just didn't want to get out of my hair for some weird reason like it just didn't want to get out of my hair so basically what she had to do is get another bleach bath and then this time she only used it on this side of my hair so my hair was bleached like one, one time entirely and then she rinsed it out and then she put like bleach on this side of my hair again and she left that in for an hour or so it was such a long time like honestly i do not understand how i still have hair on my head because it's just no it's it's been through a lot like honestly and then when we washed the bleach out of my hair um my hair was unfortunately still pretty pink like not at the front section but in the back it was still a very like salmony color but at that point i was just like you know let's just stop with the bleach i mean it's that it's probably not gonna get any lighter so Let's just put a toner in it and be done with it because at that point I was already like four hours at the hair salon and I just wanted to go home. So then she put a toner in my hair to make it more silver because at that point my hair was looking like a banana and that's not what I wanted. <laughs> so she put the toner in my hair and it didn't really... I mean I feel like it made my hair more of an ashy blonde. Like in the last video I uploaded that's kind of the color the toner gave my hair. And if you look at that video and then look at this, then you can see that my hair is like a lot more silver 
at this moment. And that is because I, I ended up using the Overtone Silver Treatment. And Overtone is like this brand that has um, conditioners and hair masks that are kind of going to revive your hair color. So they have like a mask for every single color. They have like for red hair, for orange hair, for yellow hair, for blue hair, for green hair. They have like for every hair color they have this mask that is just going to revive your hair color and i used these silver treatment and honestly it made my hair so much more silver and now that, that is the point where we are today basically this is my hair right now looking very silver and not black Ta -da! <laughs> So yeah, this is how I got the black out of my hair. And in case you're wondering, yes, my hair is extremely damaged at this point in my life. Like, it is so damaged. When I had yellow hair, my hair was so healthy and like flowy and soft. But now, like a few months later, my hair is just gone to complete shit. It is so unhealthy. Oh my god, it's like breaking off. It feels like hay, but it looks cute. So, I don't mind it that much. So if you started this video thinking like, oh, Lindy is going to tell me how to get black out of my hair on a very easy way without damaging my hair, <laughs> then you're wrong. Like, there, there is no easy way to get black out of your hair. Like, honestly, and your hair is gonna get damaged if you want to get black out of your hair. So basically, the moral of the story is don't dye your hair black if you're going to take it out like two months after dyeing it. Because that's just a waste of time and a waste of money. <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, I actually don't regret getting split hair dye, even though I only had it for five days. I still don't regret doing it because I've wanted to do that for years. Like, I think I was around like 14 years old when I first saw it and I really wanted to do it. So I just did it. And now I know that I don't want it anymore. I don't regret it. It was pretty cool, but... I'm done with that phase of my life. <laughs> so yeah guys, this is how I got the black out of my hair. Really hope you found it interesting. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. And I want to thank you guys for watching and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye! -bye. <laughs>